Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got Foundations. It is out. And we have a super... Uh, I don't, don't want to say janky, but um, it's a little janky uh, in the fact that I kind of went a bit overboard with a number of two-card instant win combos in this deck. Um, we got three instant win combos in one deck, so there's no way we can possibly lose a game. Um, the new card here is the Bloodthirsty Conqueror. And if you're not aware of this combo with this, um, it's a five mana, five, five vampire knight flying death touch. And it says whenever your opponent loses life, you gain that much life. Pretty decent on its own, actually. Um, it does combo with the enduring tenacity, um, which says whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. If it dies, it'll come back, um, which is kind of useful. If they have removal for it, so you can still get the ability. But the two of these cards go infinite with each other um, to whenever, if they lose any life or you gain any life, then they trigger each other infinitely, as well as with the Starscape Cleric, which um, says whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. So if you have the Conquer out and the Cleric out, then that's an infinite loop as well for infinite damage and infinite life gain, as long as you they lose life or you gain a life to set off the combo. Um, so that's kind of the one infinite combo so we got these cards here um as sort of a these all synergize well these cards synergize with that to make an infinite instant win combo uh the other ones we have are the unstoppable slasher uh which says whenever it deals combat damage to a player they lose half their life um when it dies it comes back with stun counters and then the blood letter of alcazaz which says if an opponent would lose life they lose twice that much life so the Unstoppable Slasher plus Bloodletter combo is an instant win combo in and of itself. Also a couple of Rush of Dreads, which say that um, if you kick it for five mana, you can have target opponent lose half their life rounded up. It's got other modes that you can use, um, which can be useful on their own. But if you have Bloodletter and then they lose half their life, then they doubles that and they just instantly die. So um, that you can get a turn three kill in this deck because of the new land war elf which is one of the reasons why i'm playing green in this deck um you can go turn one land war elf turn two slasher turn three bloodletter and just kill them instantly uh no matter what life total they're at which is kind of cool uh so these cards are kind of the other uh instant win combo here and then why not throw in another one uh the innkeeper's talent combo uh so if you're not aware of this one which is Innkeeper's Talent is a two-man enchantment. It put plus one, plus one counters on your creatures. You can level it up. The last level is what we're looking at as the uh, instant win combo here. Level three, it says if you would put one or more counters on a permanent or player, put twice that many um, of those on the permanent or player instead. So this is an instant win combo with Vraska, which is a Planeswalker. It comes in with six loyalty. Um, you can play for five or six with the Frexian mana. Um, most importantly, if you have the Innkeeper all the way leveled up, Vraska comes into play with either 12 or 10 counters, enough to ultimate it right away. And then the ultimate itself puts 9 counters on the opponent, um, which will get doubled again by the Innkeeper's talent, and then they'll get 18 poison instantly. So we're playing uh, three different instant win combos, or this one's an inf infinite combo, it is instant win, uh, in here that are all just two cards. So this card plus this card, this card plus this card, or this card. Uh, two card combos, splinter twin combos, if, if you may. And then land War elves to basically accelerate all of these. So land War elves is, is really good uh, because it, it speeds up all these combos potentially. For example, you could you know play the, the cleric out on turn uh, two and then the conquer on turn four with a land War elf and then just win on turn four. Again, you can win on turn three with a slasher uh, plus Akazods, and then with the Innkeeper's Talent, it actually works pretty well too, because you can go turn one land Elf, turn two Innkeeper's Talent, level it up, turn three, uh, level up to level three, and then turn four, play Vraska, instantly win. Um, so that's kind of cool as well. So you had to get kind of lucky, but to draw the pieces. The thing though about this deck is that all these pieces are kind of decent cards on their own. Um, you know, the Slasher, the Rush of Dread, the Blood letter, so you can kind of just beat down um, with the rest of the cards in the deck. And you know, Vraska, of course, has other abilities to draw cards and turn opponents' creatures into um, treasures. Um, 
So you can kind of just play a beatdown strategy, and then if you happen to draw one of your two card instant win combos, then you just instantly win. I got a couple of deep cavern bats in here just to disrupt the opponent, take away their removal, because some of these combos like removal will interrupt them. Um, so that's why I have a couple of deep cavern bats. And then, you know, if the game goes late, um, removal doesn't interrupt, unless they have enchantment removal. But creature removal doesn't interrupt this combo, which is kind of nice. So um, mana base is a little... It, well, heavy to the black side, because mostly because of Blood Letter. It's a little awkward because of Blood Letter as well, and the land where else, and only having, uh, and having the triple uh, black cost. But it seemed to be okay, I believe. Um, you know, Restless Cottage can be useful with a food token to gain life to trigger this combo as well. So um, that is the deck. We got three instant win combos in the same deck. How could we possibly lose? <laughs> Let's jump into some standard games on the ladder and see what we can do. All right, triple combo on the play with a Lamor Elf into a Cleric. Um, okay. Not bad, not bad. Turbo Sniper, 83. Is this a new Animal Companion? Or is this part of the... I'm not even sure. Okay. Go for the Lamor Elf. Oh, that gives me the nice... Said hello. Here's the stalwart. Okay, not quite as good as the Lamor Elf, but um, okay, I'll play out one of these clerics. I think just to start getting some beat downs on. Uh, I don't think I want to trade here. And I could offspring this. Turn five if I wanted to, or just play it out. I'll see what we draw next turn. Loam speaker, sure. Ooh, there's the conqueror. Nice. So doesn't have a reach. So I think does it swing here? With this <clears throat> play another one. Because this kind of ensures I'll probably be able to get in for some damage and win the game next turn. With the Conqueror, hopefully. So maybe an elf list here. Be my guess. Elf, elf. But they may just be getting infinite comboed <laughs> next turn. We'll see. They might have. Okay, yeah, they got. Elf. All right. Well, apologies to my opponent. The infinite damage was nigh. Gain the life, lose the life. I love this combo. You don't have to click on anything. It's nice. This goes infinite. Sweet, sweet. Turn four. Infinite combo. Yep. Good game. And yep. All the triggers in the world. On to the next one. All right, triple combo on the play with an elf hand. Okay, nice. Keep this one. Lead with the marsh into the elf. So this would let us do... Ooh, okay. Something to do. Um, I think I'll just play this out... And just go the beat down plan here. Back for one. And then we can go Blood Letter next turn. Potentially. Double our damage. Ooh, there's a prankster. Okay, that's pretty good against us. Hmm, what do we want to do? Better to play like a bat? Is it better to play a tenacity? Better to play. Aklazods. I think I just gonna play the tenacity here. Um, just to save this for a big swing next turn, maybe. This kind of holds this off. And oh, there's a Vraska. Interesting. Okay, so. 
play the Vraska. Kind of want to save it until we have an, an innkeeper's talent, but it's kind of nice to have. Otherwise, I could play Bloodletter. I could also just play the Bat and try to bait out whatever they're doing. I don't dislike that, actually. Yeah, let's just, let's just see what they got going on over there. Because let's just baits out removal, it baits out counter spells here. Feels like they got yeah, there's the counter spell. Okay. So we'll swing the tenacity. Down to fifteen. So this must be some sort of self mill strategy, the Oculus kind of strategy, maybe. Yep. Okay. Hottie Jin. Um, okay, so we can resolve the Blood Letter or the Vraska, and we could, I think the Vraska can just turn that into a treasure. I like that. Um, okay, we'll pay the full. Because Hanijin is just, like so good in that deck. Makes everything cost less. Alright. So, assuming they're going to take the four here. They do have a treasure to work with. They want to use the mana, I guess. But resolving Frask is pretty good as well. Let's see what they got. So this is the this is the draw where all the different combos did not come together. Well, they kind of they kind of work together, but not really. Like I didn't draw the Innkeeper Salon, didn't draw the Bloodthirsty Adversary, and didn't draw the, uh, the Slasher. So these are all like different pieces of two card combos. Oh, it's gonna block. Okay, I don't know if there was like a sweeper or something. Certainly could. I'm assuming this is like they wouldn't have a sweeper in this kind of deck, but Dave Judgment is legal now, so you never know. But yeah, Vraska is pretty good against what they're doing here because we can just take up and draw cards. Or take out anything that they resolve. Okay, they're going to use the treasure for helping hand on the pick block prankster. Maybe they misclicked that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep turning this into a treasure. I think. So this is a treasure, and just play out the land. Might as well. Blood letter, and then this swing with everything for double damage. And down to one. Okay, so looking good. Unless, again, they have a sweeper. Yeah, just got there with the beatdown plan. No, uh, no infinite combos needed there. Alright, nice. On to the next one. Alright, on the play um, with an awkward hand. But maybe keepable. Yeah, the forest land elf into blood letter is just awkward, but I'm gonna try it anyways. It's because we got the turn two uh, innkeeper talent plus level up, which is pretty decent. So we'll see if that can do some good for us. But yeah, these blood letters are not. Let's see, level up and then put a counter on the elf. Not castable right now. Fortunately. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to level this up again. And. Let's see. Oh, okay. So this Lime Werewolf is just huge now. 
Not bad. Duress. Okay, nice. You can see my uncastable blood letters. This is super awkward, but... This Lamer Elf is going to get huge. And has ward, which is nice. Let's see what they... Uh, uh, what is this? Target opponent reveals her hand. You choose an artifact or creature. Okay. Uh, okay, there is a blood letter here, so now we can cast that. That's sweet. And this is going to do double counters, so double damage. Should I just... I think I'll just put it here and swing for 12. <laughs> nice. Down to 8. Because, yeah. Because if they want to kill this, that's fine. Let's play another one. Somehow this all... Uh... Yeah, well, now I just have another one for the win here. This is 8. Double, double. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. That was nice. Just just beat down with Innkeeper's Talent. Didn't even need an instant win combo for that one. All right, triple combo on the play. Um, well, we do have this combo here and other five drops. This is a bit awkward. <laughs> Nothing to do before turn four here. Um, probably should mulligan, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. All right. So lands are a good draw, or just some early drops. A land where elf would be nice. Anything that costs two or three would be fine. But yeah, we do have this turn five. Okay, there's a help nightmare. Um, let's ditch the Vraska maybe, since we don't really have the other piece for that. Okay, there's a land. Let's keep laying out lands here. So if they're gonna have as much a discard, could be a problem. Yep. Um, yeah, I guess we'll ditch this. Try to hold on to this one-two punch. Oh, that's a good draw. Okay, let's play that out. This threatens lethal next turn. Let's see what they got. Hopeless Nightmares. Okay, there's removal. And the slasher is has been slashed. Alright, so we'll go for the blood letter. I think. Just because this if we draw land, we can rush of dread for the win. Eh, just played out. Okay, there's another one. Finish off the slasher. Sure. There's a tithing blade. Okay. Nothing but removal. Not deck. Um, all right. Let's play the tenacity here. This can make them um, discard half the cards in their hand as well, and lose half their life. Uh, okay. So uh, I think I'm just gonna. Ditch the Rush of Dread. Honestly, because I don't have any creatures. Discarding half the cards. Losing half their life would be okay. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, possible I wanted to keep it. Um, so many ways of making me discard here. Let's attack. So just, should I just play this out? <clears throat> Is it 2-2 two, two, or try to offspring it? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm honest. I think I'm just going to play it out. Okay, now we need our Conqueror. Our, another Bloodthirsty Conqueror. That would be nice. Okay, there's the cut down. And a 
tithing blade, sure. <laughs> this text is just like, removal, 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 discard, 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 discard. And one creature. Alright, there's the land. There's raids. And attack. Yep, yep. And sacrifice. If they sacrifice enchantment, I guess I could sacrifice enchantment. I'm not going to, but um, yeah, they can scry. So if, the only chance I really have is to draw a conqueror here, and I did. All right. So and hope they don't have an answer. Yeah, they have an answer. <laughs> alright, alright. Very nice. GG. Right. Uh, on the play with a okay hand. One of these was a land war elf. This would be really good. But I think I'll try it anyways. Um, lead on swamp in case I draw a forest. And there is a land Ralph. Just a little late to the party here, buddy. Hmm, okay. Um, do I play it? Or do I play the Innkeeper's Talent? So if I play the land Ralph next turn, that lets me play potentially the Blood Letter following turn. If I play Innkeeper's Talent now, the next turn... I think it's still better just to play this now. Because this would let me play like two Innkeeper's Talents next turn as well. Turn two Lamar Elf, not as good as turn one Lamar Elf. <clears throat> Fortunately, but we'll see. Up against, uh, looks like a rabbit's list. It's gonna come at, come at me pretty hard here, potentially. Ooh, there's a Enduring Tenacity. So maybe we play that? Just because we have the Conqueror, potentially, for the win. Uh, yeah, let's just play this out. Also, just maybe block and trade with something here, which I think I would want to do as well. Um, okay, there's a quest caller. So this only gives rabbits. Yeah, okay, so I can block this. This. Mm. These guys might get a little bigger, but they have a pump spell. I guess that pump spell doesn't really matter which one I block either. So, trade with the bigger one here. And there's a land. Okay, interesting. Um, so I can play out Blood Letter, which I'll do here. And now this does set up an infinite win with the Bloodthirsty Conqueror. Potentially. If they don't have an answer to the Blood Letter. Okay. Yep. So that gets pumped. I didn't have a pump spell last turn, so taking that into consideration with my blocks here, I'm okay, getting another quest caller. Sure. Um. So I basically have them dead here with the swing back because. Any damage that's dealt will go infinite here. So, yeah. Pretty good. Alright, got him. Another infinite combo, infinite damage. 888. Eight, eight. Alright. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, it was like doubling the damage. That's why I went to 8. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, nice. Uh, on to the next one.
All right, foundation standard, triple combo combo. Ooh, this hand would be so good if we had a green source here. Um, so I think, oh, well, on the draw, but I think I'm just gonna mulligan. And well, we got these, this combo. So I think, let me just throw back the innkeeper's talent. See if we draw a green source at some point to get us to our conqueror. Ooh, nice. Definitely got our combos going here. We got the cleric, tenacity, and conquer combo. Yep, cut down, sure. We got a backup backup plan for that, essentially. And a rush of dread just in case. Ooh, there's a deep cavern bat. But we can um, make them sacrifice it. <laughs> so probably we'll just do that next turn to get back whatever piece they take here. Unless they unless we draw a redundant piece. But they're kind of Oh, okay. I'm going to, yeah, just take that, and then our one play here is to just rush of dread. Their guy. Get it back. <clears throat> There's another one, sure. Alright, takes it again. There's the land here. So Vraska can um, make a treasure artifact. Yeah, okay. So we'll just play this out and see if we can gain some life. Because if we draw any other piece with this, that will be game over as well. Ooh, an obliterator deck, nice. All right, there is the go for the throat. And there is a cleric. So maybe we'll just kick this. Make some offspring. And there's the cut down. And the anoint shirt. Okay, there's a bat of our own. But I think I just get the Vraska down here. Start drawing some cards. A little bit more mana efficient. Because I don't think it will. Um, Get, give us our card back if we turn this into a treasure. And then proliferate here. Okay, we found the land for the elf. I'll play out. Alright, there is the bat on my bat. And the tail swipe. Okay. Go for a swing for two. Okay, there's Aklazons. A good draw. Um, let's see what else we can get. Okay, there's the Unstoppable Slasher. I think we're gonna go for the Aklazons, though, just to protect the Vraska here. So, got the one-two punch here. Alright, not too worried about that. And 
just keep drawing cards. Another one. Um, so, play the lands. So we have enough to play both of these. And could swing, but I think we'll just hold. This is double double, so it's eight each. One is still only on three lands, which is interesting. If they attack with the Sentinel... Okay, they're gonna take out the Slasher, we'll come back. Attack with the Sentinel. Um, so we can't, like, double block it. We could just... I think we'll just let this take the four here. It's fine. Okay, there's a Cleric. And... Yeah, I'll just keep drawing cards here. Ooh, there's a Conqueror. Um, yeah, so put the one here. Don't want to increase the other one. So... Maybe we'll just play out this Conqueror. And... They have, they have, an, they have another, like, bat. They've used two of them already. So maybe we want to just attack here. Actually, this would force the blocks here. If we play this and attack with both of these, because if any damage is dealt, this does infinite damage. Yeah, okay. Well, they're just dead. <laughs> Alright, GG. Got there with one of the infinite combos. Instant win combos. Nice. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, on the play, triple combo, land wealth. Decent hand, okay. Can't complain, I guess. So none of these pieces <laughs> work with each other. <laughs> They're all parts of different two card combos. So that's funny. But that seems to happen sometimes. But they're all fine on their own. Novice Inspector, sure. Oh, okay, there is a turn to Slasher. That's kind of nice. We'll see if we draw the uh, uh, Blood Letter. That would be pretty nice. It's going to attack. Ooh, okay. Oh, no. No attack. Okay, draw the Bloodthirsty Conqueror. Um, could make them sacrifice this. I think I'm just going to play this out. And... I just want to play it before they have a chance to do anything. Kill my elf or something like that in mid-combat. So, I'll play with the Tenacity... Can definitely maybe they have a counter spell here. I'm not really sure they got Esper colors going on. Well, I guess they have a stop because of the clue. But this does set up a conqueror kill. Alright, we'll get in there for the slasher, because why not? Yep, that is a clue they're drawing. Alright, gonna go down to nine here. Big hit by the slasher. Turn two slasher is pretty good, just in general. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty sweet play. Um hmm. Do I do Rush of Dread just to make them sacrifice their guy? I mean, sure. Why not? Why not? Nothing else to do with the mana, so... Hit them down to one here, I think. Yeah, okay. Temporary lockdown, okay. Well, that's, uh, yeah. That's game. <laughs> Alright. No, uh, no instant win combo, but... Got there with the beatdowns. Alright. Uh, triple infinite combo, instant win combos deck. Um, this hand is pretty bad because 
None of these work with each other. I think I'm gonna mulligan here and see if I can find something better. Uh, I'll keep this, put back... Maybe... I don't know. I could put back a land. Hope to draw more. I think I just want to put back the cleric, maybe? Not really sure. That's the right play, but I'm gonna do it. A bit of a slow hand. Uh oh. <laughs> put away a cleric, draw a cleric. Alright, it's fine. Let's see what opponent's up to. Probably the burn deck, I'm gonna guess. With that mountain. I'm gonna get shocked right now. Or burst lightning. No? Okay. No. Alright. Two red, nothing. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna play out this cleric here just because I've got nothing else to do. And we'll see if it's if it dies. It no, still alive. Okay. Mountain mountain nothing. Slick shot, okay. I see. Saving up for a slick shot. So might as well attack. And hope not to die here. <laughs> Definitely is possible. They just go. Well, I'm not even gonna. Not even gonna use this slick shot. Um. Okay. So. Hmm. I want to play one of the four drops for sure. Do I want to play the blood letter just to get get them for more. The tenacity in case I draw the other piece for that. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna play the tenacity here. Well, the blood letter would give me a blocker. That's the only thing to consider with that. But I think I'm just gonna I'm just attack and see what they do. I'm really looking for because if I play the blood letter, I only have the um, the instant win of the uh, the five mana rush of dread. That would be an instant win. If I didn't. Don't have the uh, slasher, so I think it's a little better to play the tenacity here and just kind of try to set up something. Hopefully, draw a, uh, a conqueror here. Oh wow! They're just gonna do crescendo on my guy just to draw a card. Essentially, I'm trying to hit their land, I think. Okay, let's see if they can do 20 here. Alright, yep, that's one way to start. So that's 5. Power. And then... They do like an inside out, and then fling it. That would be 20, exactly. No, I'm going to play the Charming Schedule. Okay. Do have a blocker for that. Okay, and the show off gets in there. Five. Another Vraska. So is it better to play Vraska and like turn this into a into a treasure, or just play the Bloodletter and go beat down myself? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Um. I would take two. This would turn into a treasure. I would give him another mana. I think I'm just going to YOLO this. And go beat down myself. Just race. See if that will work. <clears throat> um, play the land. And swing. This is a swing for 6, so it's 12. I was going to block, okay. That's fair. Alright. So the slick shot could definitely take me out. 
Definitely gonna attack. Should I block? Is the question. Got a lot of mana up. I'm at 15. Uh, I, I mean, I definitely have lethal on the way back, so I'm just gonna say if you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't. Okay, it's seven. Okay, that's uh, 12. Any other spell? Yeah, we'll do it. Okay, so definitely should have blocked. <laughs> but not sure if I was going to win. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I guess if I did block, you would have gotten like a million guys anyways. So, that's funny. Alright, nice. Slick shot. Got there. All right, welcome back to the wrap-up. This was really, really fun to try out all these combos in the same deck, see if we can get off um, some instant win combos. Surprisingly, well, maybe not surprisingly, but the deck was just sort of like not really a combo deck and more of a beatdown deck, which is kind of cool for your combo deck to like, kind of win without the combo. Um, that's always a good sign if it can win without the combo. So um, I did get the, this one, the Bloodthirsty Conquer was the one that I was able to execute um, more than the other ones. Uh, and so I don't think I ever got a, this Innkeeper Talent uh, combo off, uh, just because there's only four of each piece, so perhaps it's less likely. But the Innkeeper's Talent was quite good uh, in some of the games, just to kind of serve as a threat. And then Veraska by itself was good. So all the cards, I mean, the thing about this deck is like all the cards are pretty decent on their own. Um so that's kind of scary when you have a bunch of combo pieces that are all decent on their own. Um, so yeah, I mean, this deck could certainly be tweaked. I don't think this is like a final version or anything. Um, you could, mas you know, massage the numbers. I wasn't sure. Probably the weakest card was the Cleric, but it is useful to kind of have a flying attacker to start this combo. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how I would, you know, you could just obviously focus on one combo and just go all in on that combo um, if you wanted to do that. Uh, but I thought it was fun to do this. You could play, you know, card draw, you could play, um, you know, more tutors in the deck, things like that to try to get the combos more consistently. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what, below what you think about it. It's pretty funny uh, that it, it was, it worked pretty well overall as a deck. Um, sometimes you in instantly won and sometimes you just attacked and played a beatdown deck, and that was good enough too. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think about the deck, what you're excited for for foundations, any other um, cool ideas. I got a whole bunch of new foundation brews coming up in the next uh, couple days, so stick to the channel for that. And thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.